Hello there. I'm not sure how to hold the microphone because last time I was breathing into the microphone and now I'm learning. Sorry for the delay for ups and downs, but uh, Halloween parties were here and I was super tired. So let's go. I have something new, guys. We have a TV screen and I will show you things while I'm talking. <laughs> how exciting. And the ups and downs are there. And uh, ups and downs cool right okay friday night smackdown started with Sami Zayn and solo versus the brawling brutes great match amazing match sammy and jay had a argument once again and basically they lost the match because sammy got distracted and uh butch pinned sammy after that an argument appeared and basically roman came out and said you two should figure it out amazing segment I think you should all watch it. It was really funny. Sammy broke everyone's character. It was amazing. It receives an up. The New Day versus Maximum Male Models, down. Sorry, but I'm not sure why that match appeared. Uh, I think the main idea of the match was to show that the New Day are still good competitors for the Bloodline. But at the same time, they're not in the title picture. But at the same time, we are burying Maximum Male Models. I'm not sure what is going on there. I'm not sure what is the direction of Maximum Male Models, if they're gonna lose to the new day we had a backstage test segment with sonia deville and liv morgan i'm gonna give an up because uh, i'm excited to see where the new live is going the extreme live is going and next week they have a match which is no disqualification match good stuff ronda rousey open challenge when i was watching that i was thinking who the flip is emma and it's normal to not know emma because emma was a thing like five years ago as long as i understand i was worried that they're bringing back someone and they're instantly gonna bury emma but that was not the case the match was really good it showcased emma as a good competitor to ronda even though we all know that ronda is ronda and she cannot have a good match that doesn't sound right she always has a good match but I, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. Basically, good match. Emma was in a good light. Ronda was in a good light because basically she cheated a little bit in order to win. And at the end of the match, uh, we understand that there is some sort of alliance going on with Shada Baszler. Uh, and I'm really excited to see that as well. Up. Heat row versus Legado of Fantasma. It was supposed to be three versus three with Hitro having a mystery partner. That mystery partner was Shinsuke Nakamura. Good shit, man. I don't know what else to say. I was a little bit worried that uh, with Legado of Fantasma coming to SmackDown, Hitro is gonna get rolled. I don't know, Shinsuke with that match, spiced up a little bit the things for the hero it was a good match i suggest you go watch it because it's one of the good matches that are not highlighted on this week's show but it was actually good after that we had a backstage segment with la knight having a promo or an interview backstage and ricochet came out and said that if la knight run continues running his mouth he's gonna get beat up these are not the right words for sure but basically ricochet and la knight uh, match i am looking forward to for that up a little bit of a questionable thing carrying cross versus madcap moss up uh yeah i haven't uh I haven't painted the up in any specific way, but it's a questionable up. We all know that WWE is trying to build Karrion Cross for his match against Drew McIntyre, but why Madcap Moss? It took Madcap Moss to reach this level at the moment, like three or four years on the main roster. Why are we burying him in a match against Karrion Cross? I just don't understand. We saw Madcap Moss in a good light, I admit. But we all knew what's gonna happen. We all know that Kieran Cross is dominant right now. And I'm pretty sure we could pick someone more believable than Madcap Moss. Beat him. He's not gonna lose anything out of that match. 
and Karrion Cross is gonna be able to cut that promo after the match when he was choking Madcap. Another backstage segment, a Frey Mysterio versus Gunther. I'm not gonna rate that because it's too small, but basically Imperium beat up Ray in the backstage and said that he has no chance and Gun Gunther chopped him, blah blah blah. I'm curious to see what Ray is gonna do. Somehow I think Ray is gonna win. I don't know. It's it looks interesting to me. Last but not least, Bray Wyatt segment receives an up. Bray Wyatt came up and the promo said that he's gonna talk about his demons. Uh, in the ring he talked about his demons. I don't know, but he was really honest and sincere in his promo when he was in the ring, but he was cut off by Uncle Howdy. Uh, scary. <laughs> I didn't understand anything, but as long as I understand, there is some Uncle Howdy who is saying that he's lying he's not honest and he wears another mask and some people say that this is bold Dallas. it's gonna be interesting to see if this is bold Dallas. i'm interested to see what is gonna happen next week in general the show receives a nup uh, we have only one down uh, at the beginning when I was watching the show and I was uh, preparing everything I was planning to give the show zero downs But the maximum male model match with the new day It's really a down just because where the new day is going and where maximum male models is going And if we're gonna have one match just for the sake of having a match It's better not to have a match if at the end we're gonna bury maximum maximum male models so Yeah, I don't know just a suggestion. Thank you guys so much for watching I hope you like the new changes, the new things. <laughs> and I'm going to see you in a few days for Raw. See you. Bye.